All right, we ready to get immersed into a new story? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Walking Dead, a telltale series. This game series adapts the choices you make, the stories tailored by how you play. Telltale Games presents. In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. All right, here we go. Episode one, a new day. So, why am I in the back of a sheriff's Well, I car? reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning. Does it really matter? I'm gonna say, does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I, oh, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Uh... So you've got an you opinion? you got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. He just seemed angry. It just seemed like Regardless, the proper thing to say. Could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> or she? Oh my God! You can say that? No, I'm gonna say or she married the wrong guy. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't he stop going on about how he didn't do. It. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folks. Where the hell are they all going? He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for to one and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'm telling him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. So he did do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing Damn. his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do oh, say shit. so. Oh this shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit, I literally picked oh shit. That's what I said before I even saw the options. Oh, shit. Oh, I know. I hope the driver's alright. I bet he's not. Thirsty. I liked him already. Ah, fuck. My leg. How long was I out? Oh, no. He's not even in the car. Oh, no. Use the mouse to look around and find a way out of the car. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Oh no, is he dead? Officer? Oh, 
That doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Oh no, he flew out the freaking window. Shit. He was tossed from the car during the wreck. Oh, this way? Okay. I need to drag myself out that window. Nothing's happening there now when I click this. Now move toward the window. You oh shit, sorry, I wasn't even reading. I'm a knob. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're out. Oh, okay. The officer's shotgun is on there. Can I pick it up? Why would he have needed that? Ow! Okay, we picked up the shotgun shell without picking up the shotgun. Officer? Go over to him and check on him, will you? Check on him for- Shit! What happened? Oh, wait, he's dead. He's definitely dead. Which can only mean one thing. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Dude, hurry up. Please hurry up. Oh no. Officer. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! Ah! What in the hell? Oh my god, get the shotgun! Just get the Where shotgun! Shit. Oh my god, how did you drop that shit? Pick it up! Don't make me do this! I have to! I do Man. I'm sorry, but in a zombie apocalypse, you don't... You don't... Who, who's that? You don't hesitate. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Oh god, I don't like this. This is so unsettling. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Move. 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 Ah! Of course. Ah! Where's it gone? Hello? Anybody? Help! I can actually move around. Can you sprint now? Or clearly not in my condition. I wonder if anybody's home. Yeah, let's go knock on the door and see, yeah? I wonder if anybody's home. Well, have a look, sir. You're right there. I wonder if anybody's home. What are you doing, like? I wonder if anybody's home. I thought you wanted to look through the house, you moron. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. I wonder if anybody's home. Oh. Wait. There's options? What the shit? Is there options? Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I 
These people may need more help than I do. Why? What's wrong with their house? <laughs> This guy has to be the clumsiest buffoon ever. How the hell do you even let that happen? Right. What oh, Jesus, look at all the drawers. I can't be going nosing in their drawers. But I will. Walkie talkie? Alright. Now I'm beginning to understand why he was in the back of a sheriff's car. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Did we just drink out of that? This guy has no manners. There are three new messages. All right. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this... Call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Um, who is this? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, sure. I'm not. Uh, I think that's a weird question to ask first. Where, Where are, your, are parents? your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! How did you not? Oh, Q! Oh my God! Are you dead too? Well, that was the end of The Walking Dead season one. Lee is a fucking moron, and. Uh, Died. And now we want to press E as well. What the frick, dude? I'm not ready. I'm not used to this. Oh, yep. I'm officially a moron. What the? Kick her in the face. Ah! Fuck off. Oh my god, she's got a hammer. Ah! Oh no. Why Q? Q is just a random freaking. Ah! 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 Hurry up and hit her with freaking armor! Hit her with armor! Jesus Christ! How many times gonna kick her? Ah! Oh, All right, yeah. Ah! 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 Just, just die, will you? Just, just death. Just lots of death. Death. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? No, I'm pretty sure she's still alive. Um, I... I don't... I don't know. I think so. <laughs> Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then.
Yeah, what you can't. What should we do now? You can't even look after yourself, Lee. For feck's sake. Um, look for help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Okay, we're moving. God, I get so confused. I'm like, oh, can I move now? And I'm like, shit. Wait, can I use the, the walkie-talkie? No? How do... I don't know. Oh, there's actually people here. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What is going on? What the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... <laughs> a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. <laughs> Sean noticed what you said. Now I'm worried. What do you want to do? <laughs> your monster's come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Okay, now I have to push this thing. Hurry up. Why are you stopping? Any of those guys, neighbors too. Hell is hot dish. Anyway, <laughs> hey Sean, <laughs> don't wait to pop into my head now. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Enjoy hot dish night, whatever the fuck that is. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy, we need to play. Um, your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Oh, crap. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't take so much, uh, I convinced him, did I? Help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? 
It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel Green. How'd this happen? There was a Herschel in the original Walking Dead as well, wasn't there? A, a car accident. A car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Uh, uh, out of Atlanta. Out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Nobody. <laughs> is that so? Yeah. It is. Oh, my God. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got oh, now they don't actually sleeping in the barn. trust me. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. It's not my daughter, I said. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious... Shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Fair enough. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. Aw. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. I feel sorry for Clem. I don't, is it weird? I don't really care about Lee. <laughs> hey, get up. Oh, well. Morning. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? Oh, my God. Um, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. All right. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging a quack. Well, uh, parents name their kids Duck. We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe let's see how things turn out. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. 
All right, so we're moving now. Can I? Okay, let's talk. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to oh. hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like but this. Lee was a teacher. Oh. <sighs> yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. We just... Just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Look! I'm just gonna go over this way now. Jason, I'm walking grand now. That old bandage done me wonders. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. That's fair enough. How was your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Uh, what's your so plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. All right, okay. You seem like good people, right? I actually wasn't expecting the game to be this, like, interactive with the environment. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. <laughs> poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Well, that's what Dad I just did. wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? 
I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. I don't know, I just thought that was the best one to go with. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright, let's go over to the barn. Can we sprint? No. Oh, we can walk faster, though. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's oh. your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, no wife no anymore. Wife. Uh, not anymore. I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Um, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. I didn't lie, you're though. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. What and if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun. What the frick is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. What what happened here? Ah. My leg is off of me. Uh, wait, wait, wait. This thing. The, the cage! Get the cage! I got you! Eddie! Help me! Eddie! What the Kenny, what the hell? Uh, what's it? What's it? Oh god. Oh god. No! I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost it almost got me, man. It he tried to save me. I know, son. I... <sighs> what the hell, Kenny? Jesus Christ, dude. You could have saved them. Die. 
I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. Get out, and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Nope, not friendly. Oh shit, that was close. Who's this? Take risks like this and we can't just let people die either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there then we let them we're not dangerous just regular folks what's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Oh, Maybe you Clem. should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't Sequence. give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We it wasn't to end this now over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We got to throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Hey, don't ask me yeah, for fix it's sake. just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart down. I'm gonna reason with him. You need to calm down. We reason with him. At the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. Oh my they god! They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right Keep now, dropping the F-bombs! Like... trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Uh, sit down! That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Don't Lee. kill him. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. You're not hey, very I'm good not at looking after her, Lee. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then 
Once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Hey! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, oh man. Seriously, Kenny? Oh God! Jesus! Oh my God! What the fuck? Lee, you're so fucking useless! Oh my God! Ah! Not this shit again! I can't do this with my left. I'm dead. No, oh, I'm fine. It seems I'm fine. Man. God damn it! You okay? Just great, thanks. How many times is Lee just gonna fall over? Oh my god! Uh, guys. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. It reminds me of uh, Season 1 Glenn. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you're insane. You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, Kenny, who made you the fucking leader, eh? Well, do you know what? <laughs> Lee here wouldn't make a great leader. He'd probably just trip all the time. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, 
nothing. She just said she can't get working. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Beats too. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Wow. <laughs> this game is so full of incompetence. It's driving me insane. Oh, God. Oh, let me guess. You're the smart one, right? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Should I sure it's a good idea? Sounds like a really bad idea. No. Think I'm gonna be he just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all we care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I mean, we shouldn't really be out here. It's a combination lock. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hand on this. Got a key card. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Wait, does he actually know him? I wonder. Start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. I'm going back Let's inside. Get back inside. Okay. Right. Uh, are we gonna check on Clementine at all? No. I guess not. So why am I picking up? And how do I go over to the stuff I picked up? Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? No idea, because I don't check on her. <sighs> her family's dead. Her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Oh, I don't know yeah, that for a well, fact! <laughs> she seems to be Say, why did I say right. that? She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Uh, so what's the plan? What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? What do they own? I can't get a read on this guy. I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere <laughs> like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. 
<laughs> it happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Eh, no, no, I don't know. Uh, console? I let it go. So what, me and Kenny are friends now? I'm just gonna rob some more stuff while I'm here, you know? What about Clementine? Alive inside. <laughs> oh. Are we going in? What's going on? Where are we going? So his family works here then. So that, that's okay. Right, the options kind of was a dead giveaway. That Lee's family worked this pharmacy. Like this was his family. Okay. Clementine, are you alright? I'm gonna check on you. How you doing? Okay. Everyone out there seem alright to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Hey, wait. Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. So that is Glenn? Wait, that's Glenn. That is Glenn. Wait, the same Glenn? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. No, oh, okay. You're not gonna take it with you, though, no? Oh, shit! Alright, Lee, you seem to be somebody that can, um, hide their emotion pretty well. I mean. There's a photo over there. Shit. Oh my god, was that his brother? That was outside? Oh no! Find anything? What the frick? Where did she come from? No. Just a picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. Huh? You're Lee huh? Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What the fu- What is you? How the hell- I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I... How can I trust you? How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Right, uh, okay then, sure. So now I know a little bit more, a lot more about Lee here. Okay, I'm done looking around. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's, um, complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Hey there. 
this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. You could use a jog? Right, okay. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. <laughs> Lee, Lily, and Larry. <laughs> Everyone was. That was hearts acting up again, and I'm I don't know why that's it. funny. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong, What's with, wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, can I give you the item? Okay, I can. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. All right, no need to be flirting now, Lee. Jesus. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Sorry, yeah, it came from my house, not this shop, I swear. Who else wants a chocolate bar? Anybody else want a chocolate bar? You look like that you could use the chocolate bar. Here, here you go. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. <laughs> Lee is really walking around the shop picking up candy bars and giving them to people. <laughs> Here, have this battery. This battery should fit the radio. <laughs> Great, thanks. Clementine, here, you look like you could use a chocolate bar. You look hungry. Here. Choc Shit! Where's the chocolate bar? There's gotta be more chocolate bars in here. Did I give them all away? I thought she said give it. Did she take the chocolate bar? Like that chocolate bar on the floor? <laughs> here, this one's got a bit of hair on it, but it's grand. Still delicious, I swear. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Glenn's probably dead. Oh, what's this? Yes! I found you the battery! I don't know what you're staring at for, because that's not going to do anything. And here's here's the battery. Should be able to get it to work now. Should, yeah. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. I swear to God, if, Go she, put, if she put the batteries in backwards, I am actually going to flip. 
I swear to you now. I don't really want to bring her out with me now. I'm not sure how safe I am. <laughs> She's gonna end up shooting me or shooting herself in the face by accident. You ready to head out? You got it. You? <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? I got this far. Yeah. Dude, between Lee giving people chocolate bars and this woman not being able to put batteries in, I don't know what to think it is. <laughs> Did you see that? Sure did. Clean, right? Be ready to shoot. It's clean. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and then I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Peek over the wall with W, okay. Oh man. Oh god. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Where to next? We can hide by that RV. If we're quiet and keep our heads down. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure if she can use it either, to be honest. We're going to need weapons. Well, then let's run back then. Well, that was a big old waste of time, wasn't it? Give me your goddamn gun. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. I don't know, why don't you have a look and see? Screwdriver! I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Quietly? Uh. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay, how do I get it out of there then? Have you got any bright ideas? There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. I was over at this stupid ass truck, bro. What the hell There's is this? Over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. All right, sure, sure. Pillow is what we need. A pillow. A... What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Get out your gun. But the noise? Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! So that's what we're doing now, is it? It's, uh, spark plug. Spark plug. You should 
should hold on to that. Could come in handy. That was awesome. <laughs> Okay. There's a pig in the truck. Oh my god, I know there is! Wait! Let me see the spark plug. The whistle inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. What? Hey. Okay. Uh, physics. I guess. Oh god. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. We. They're closing in. Yeah. Shut your face. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Yeah, like you mean this whole time, yeah? Because I've been doing all the work? There you go. There you go. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Sure, thanks for the tip, Glenn. I can't see it, it's just black. Stop, just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit, but you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Oh my God, Glenn, really? Okay, we'll leave. Bye. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. And do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, 
Step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No! 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 Yes, Glenn, she's really dead. Just so you know. All of this to quench Glenn's thirst. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. <clears throat> yeah, sure, let's do that. Uh, did you enjoy your chocolate bars? I'm sure you did. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's so positive. <sighs> She's drunk, too. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. I like the music. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Oh no. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. <laughs> I'll find you a bandage, don't worry. Do you want a chocolate bear? I still have loads of them. <laughs> There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh good. Right, well, that's my job done today. Goodbye, Clementine. <laughs> Here's that band aid. There you go. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's have a look at our finger. Oh, yeah. It's bleeding, Ari. Right? Lee? 
Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find They'll, us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Right, dog. I'm gonna break this lock. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. What you mean? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Cause look, I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, probably. TV remote will turn it on, will it? Hardly. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? What are you gonna do? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. Don't you need like a special code? You can just do that? <laughs> yeah, I just pressed a few I random buttons. All the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever seen the code book for that? Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already <laughs> hasn't? <laughs> I got a few of them to take notice. <laughs> but not enough. This game's a comedy. Oh my god. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Now you can reach the brick. Now I'm going to throw it into that window there. Don't miss. Okay, so now they're all dry humping the TV store. Let's go over here. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Just need a few seconds while I casually stroll over here and take my fucking time. Jesus Christ. Hit him again. Hit him. Hit him again. Oh my god, you're making so much noise. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. How long does it take? Are we done? Oh, oh. You could have done that in the first place. Seriously. There we go. Yeah. Run! Only took you about half an hour. Oh god, do I have to run? Sorry. Man, that was close. 
But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. We gotta hurry. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, I'm coming. If you don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh my god. Really, this is not the time. No. Shit. Oh, Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, man. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. She just, she just started. Go. Oh god. I found something. Oh, your dad's kid. Oh no. 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 Don't tell me I have to make a decision here now. I have to make a decision. Oh, you assholes. Sit. Oh my god. Um. Um. I don't. Um. I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. My decision. Just 
Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over there? I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe, but I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Are we just going to stare at each other? Or? Okay. Bye, Glenn. Probably a bad move, but... Pretty sure he's the main character, so we'll probably see him again. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. I definitely owe him a chocolate bar. Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I want to punch him in the face. It was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other Did one. The glove box? I swear I saw it Did you never pay attention oh, to I'm you? sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be yeah. tough. Can you just I'm just sad. Can I know it doesn't make any sense, sense but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. Things? It's gone. Not like we have Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. I remember when I Lee, up, I come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Oh my god. What do you want? You're exhausting, kid. Like my daughter. Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Yeah, I do. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Uh, We're lucky music shift. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay.
Yeah, I don't think so. Who would you save Doug or Carly? 49% of players chose Carly. Okay, so it's very 50-50 all across the board. That was The Walking Dead. Uh, season 1, Chapter 1. What you essentially get is a really kind of goofy interaction with characters and really silly and stupid-ass decisions if you don't, like... If you're not quick enough, for one, or you're not entirely sure about the characters, because you kind of have to figure it out by asking questions and poking around, which is what I tried to do as much as I could in this one. But at the same time, <laughs> regardless of doing that, most of the characters in this were fucking morons. Even the main character, Lee, is a fucking idiot. <laughs> It was really difficult for me to like anybody. Was, is that is that weird? Is that is that normal? I don't know. I could. The only person I liked in this was Clementine because she was an innocent kid and she was just so genuine. There there is a lot of depth to the characters. There is, there is there is stories there. There's stories to be told. Like Lee genuinely has a backstory, even though it's kind of like abruptly thrown in your face. When you get it. You, you get it, and you kind of understand Lee's character a little bit um, and what he is essentially going through right now. And there was there was that moment there where I felt like, okay, this is genuinely a heartfelt moment. This is a scene where he is genuinely, like, sad and hurt and his brother has turned into a fucking zombie. But then it <laughs> gets to the point where you have to kill your brother and he, he takes about five or six swings to the neck before aiming for the head. And then that moment is ruined because Lee is a fucking idiot and he wouldn't kill off his brother quick enough. It just felt so goofy. Oh my god. Now, I'm sure it's not intended to be goofy or whatever. This game did come out a long time ago. But at the same time, I can't help but laugh at these, at these interactive moments that just seem so silly. Anyway, lads and ladies, I am going to end this first episode of the walking dead the telltale series here um if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like if you want to see the whole series comment down below and let me know and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode um whether or not this is something you guys are interested in i'm not sure it may not be and that's okay um but i will get the first season out regardless on youtube so hope you enjoy it and i hope you get to, get you all spooky and it makes you a little bit nostalgic and makes you laugh as well because this game definitely made me laugh it, it definitely done that. I don't know if that was intended, but that's what happened. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next Walking Dead video. See you later, dudes.